Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. We picked this up Tuesday morning and we got our spot figured out from the previous day's scouting. We got ducks and geese on the water, so Phil and I were up early, we're there in the dark, and besides a couple of quacks and honks, the first thing we hear are these coyotes kick off. So in the dark, Phil and I, we're about 40 or 50 yards from the shore. We don't want to go up too close and spook the ducks off the water before it's even legal light. So we got to wait. It's five minutes into legal light. We haven't shot yet. And there's geese and ducks still on the water. It's now 6.50. We still haven't shot. We still have ducks and geese on the water. There really hasn't been hardly anything flying around. So we decided to go ahead and make our move to the reeds and pandemonium broke loose. Except the problem was that they all went west and north and we were on the east side of the lake. So we sat there a good while thinking maybe they'd circle back, but they didn't. So then we went out walking, looking around, more recon. That evening we set up in a spot where we think we got the geese figured out. We got a north wind. We think they're going to come in that way. Well, as the sun sets, it's geese two, Phil and Chris zero. Wednesday morning rolls around. And again, we get skunked. No action. So we pack up and move, but in route, we did a little sightseeing and a little tourist stuff. We're at the new location now. And we did some scouting around one o'clock. I think we found some ducks because we got them figured out now. Now we're on to them. And right now we're waiting for geese. Here they come. But eventually a flock comes in low. So here I see a goose trying to make it back to the water. Doesn't seem like he's that far off, but I think he's just out of my range here. He gets in the water, swimming off, and then I notice he puts his head down in the water and the wind just takes him. That day the wind was 20 to 25 miles an hour. And I think that one just got blown to who knows where. It's just drifting. Now at this point, I also don't know that I shot four birds out of the sky. I think I shot three. So in my mind, I've got accountability of all three. I got one on my left, one on my right, and the one in the water. Okay, how many geese did you get? Uh, three. 
three, recovered two. That looked pretty nice. So after I reviewed the footage, I saw that I had four birds down and based off where the camera was sitting and what I can see, I decided I, I'm gonna go back out there. It's about 9.30 at night now. And uh, so I go back out there with two flashlights. Well, I really thought that after reviewing that footage, I had a really good idea of where to look. And, and I guess I do, but I'm just not finding anything. Kind of searched this whole area again. I've got real good lighting here. It's not, uh, I don't think that's a question. I think if there was a bird here, I would have found it. So I'm not sure where number four went. I'm not seeing any animal footprint so I, I don't think coyotes or anything got to it but I could be wrong I don't know I was looking a little more and I saw something shiny it's one of my shells dang from far away that got me excited litter bugs The next morning finds us out on a new piece of ground. Phil takes one right there, and I get his partner right there. Eventually I go pick up my three ducks and retrieve my empty shot shells. By the time the sun clears the mountain, the action has completely died down. Nice of Phil to cut up my ducks for me. Yep. That evening, we're back out hoping to get some geese. But all I really did was burn some powder and miss. But at least our duck was ready when we got back to camp. It's Friday morning and it is really cold. I got the other one outside. Nine degrees. Shoot, it's only What's that? 20 degrees inside the car here. It's cold. Real cold. I got ice inside. Some ice on my bag. Let's get dressed. I did some missing, but at least Phil got one. It was so cold this morning, we decided to just eat out somewhere. All right, so once again, we're really sure we got them figured out now. The geese are in trouble this afternoon. Let me show you where Phil's at. <laughs> Group of bushes right there. So he's probably. 
probably 225 yards or so from me. And we got them figured out. Let's see how the night goes. They should start flying in the next half hour, 45 minutes. I wasn't able to get it on video, but Phil got a goose. Good morning. Today's game plan is obviously we're sleeping in. It's just after sun or just after legal, but before sunrise. It is a whopping 8.6 outside. And a whopping, what's that, 16.3 in here. So, we're going to go grab some coffee and a breakfast burrito and then come back and hopefully wait for the geese to come in since we do got them figured out so well. Last night they were flying really high. They went over us, but high. We'd go out duck hunting this morning. It wasn't too bad yesterday, but the minute we fired the first shot, they all left the lake. They just got up and left. They didn't circle and come back. None of them came back. And really didn't see anything flying after that. So I don't know if this, this cold has them do boogered up and not moving. But it's the last morning. So this is uh, this will be it. They continue to outsmart us, but they're fun to look at. I think, the, I think the snow up north is pushing down here. We didn't see this one before. So that was the extent of Phil's trip here in Colorado this year. We learned a little bit more about some more places and little specifics of this and that. So we got them figured out for next year. They're going to be in trouble. Thanks for watching.